Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us. Uh, if you're new to the channel, thank you for uh, stopping by. I appreciate your time. Uh, I'm working on a little project today. We got to put, uh, we have a central vacuuming system. So there, you have a 30 foot hose that you drag around the, the house to uh, vacuum and it's chewing up the baseboards. So what I'm doing is, uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it too well, there you go. Got this, it's about an eight inch piece of uh, plastic. It's a, called a corner guard. And what I'm doing is I'm putting them on the corners of the woodworking by the floor. So when they drag the hose around the corner, it doesn't chew up the wood. I'm gonna go uh, with the handheld mode. I'll show you, you got two installed. I kind of practiced a little bit before I embarrass myself on YouTube. And I'll show you what we're gonna do and how we're gonna do it. So let's get the camera and get going. All right, so you can see how the wood's getting all chewed up right there. Okay, right in here. Okay, and then I already have a set on right there. You can see underneath the wood's kind of chewed up. So I'm gonna put those on, and we'll get them. Uh, we'll get them all going here. All right. Okay, so got my tools. I got the plastic piece. Uh, we have a drill. I got some number six by one inch wood screws. Um, I, those containers they give you, I like to use these little old, your old medicine bottles. Um, I just label the container with what's in there and they kind of hold them nice and neat and are good for keeping them on the shelves easier than the, those plastic packages. So. I got the, the piece, I'm, gonna, I'm keeping it a little off the, off the base of the ground because you, you want it more where the hose is going to be and if you move the hose, you know, as you pull the hose, it kind of goes up and down, but this would be enough to keep the hose off the wood. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of line up here, drill a small hole in the plastic. And flip the bit around so I get the Phillips head screw going there. And then you don't want to go, you don't have to put it super duper tight, just enough to hold that piece in there. Okay, I know you can't see it, but they're right about where my finger is, there's a hole pre drilled. Um, I want to have it up a little higher, so I'm going to go ahead and just drill my own screw in there, screw hole with it, ready to rock and roll. So I, I anchored it at two different points, one on one side, one at the other. So I know it can't really move. And I'm gonna put another one on this side here to prevent any backlash. Or, you know, I'm not gonna put it, I don't have a lot of damage here. That hose comes this way. Very rarely does it come around the, ho the door this way, morally this way. So have one more to put in and I think that'll be it for that project. Um, not a bad project, a real quick kind of easy one and it'll uh, make uh, life with uh, saving the woodwork that much uh, easier. Not going to bore you to death with putting the second one in, it's going to be the exact same steps over and over again so I'm not going to do that. As always, I appreciate your time in watching my videos. Uh, appreciate you giving me the thumbs up if you can. Uh, if you really like them, share them, share them out with your friends or whatever. Most importantly though, if you do like the channel, please subscribe. Hit that little bell next to the subscribe button to get notified of all videos when they come out. Uh, I am sporadic with videos. I do unfortunately um, 
work nights, so when I'm working, I can't uh, shoot any videos or uh, do much because I'm during the day I'm trying to sleep. So again, thank you for your time, and as always, see you on the next video. Thanks for joining me.